Good evening. Yes, that is right. It's time for another episode of Red Renegades. Today, guys, we'll be doing Taylor and Ellen's most memorable moments from 2008 to 2015. Now, guys, there's been some, you know, recent scandal with Ellen uh, being accused of not being very courteous towards some of her guests and, uh, and people who work for her. But I'm not sure if Taylor Swift has had the same experience considering, you know, she's uh, returned back to her show for seven years. So it couldn't have been all that bad of an experience for her. But, uh, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You know, this channel doesn't have a lot of viewers, so why stick around? Well, um... Does your channel suck? Well, actually, I'm telekinetic. I can move stuff. Yeah, like what? Like that. All right, let's get straight into it. Out of the way, you, you fool. American Sweetheart is coming through, and Taylor Swift is with me. Ellen makes me feel so happy. She <laughs> makes me feel like, like, we're uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah! What are you doing? Why do you do stuff like that all the time? I'm not sure. She seems happy there, sort of, but we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I'm scared. That there was just one more adjective. <laughs> Let's talk about your fear of sea urchins. Uh, don't even see urchins. No, come on. I can't. You're actually serious about this. I'm. Do you know what a sea urchin is? You know what they are? If they're... you knew what sea urchins were, you would be terrified. Well, listen, they're just these, they're in the, they're on rocks and they're spiny looking, there. And the poor things are just minding their own business. No, they're not, they're not, that's the thing. They're just, they're like, they're like a grenade. They're like, they're, they're sitting there waiting to completely injure you to the point where, okay, so you step, you can't see a sea urchin if you're, okay, like if you're in the Caribbean, you're like, this water is so beautiful, it's amazing. And you're walking, it's clear water. You can't see a sea urchins right there, and then you step on one. Apparently, there's, it, she, apparently there's like an island uh, in the Caribbeans, which only celebrities know about. She's probably talking about the, talking about the problems there. But. It has barbs, and it goes into you, whatever it touches, and then you have to go to the emergency room, and it has to be surgically removed. You could lose your foot, you could lose your hand, you could lose your hand trying to get it off of your foot. <laughs> I don't like sea, sea urchins. Listen. <laughs> All right. Let's we don't... didn't date. Okay, I, that's what I'm saying. That's ridiculous to show Zach. They never did date. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Taylor Lautner and Taylor Swift uh, both got married. They'd both be called uh, Taylor Lautner. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to bring that up. What? Hold it like you're going <laughs> to ring it at some point. Okay. Oh, they didn't even bring it up. All right. Danny DeVito, did y'all date? You know I can't talk about that. All right. <laughs> How about if we warm up? Okay. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. You, 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 you. You, 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 you. Them, 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 them. Them, 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 them. Those, 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 those. Those, those, those. You're a great teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? It's like it's like when I find that person that pretty young here, Taylor. That is is right for me, and is he'll be wonderful. And when I look at that person, I'm not even gonna be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. <laughs> In the air, like that. With this? Yeah, that's great. Being on Ellen's show is one of the best experiences. Chin down, you that's can not have. attractive. Chin down, you're a cover girl. Like that. Monotone, like that. Being on the Ellen show is much. Being on the Ellen show is one of the best experiences you can have. Right. It's some of the most fun I've had in my entire life. Now laugh in a monotone way. <laughs> great. End with one big one. <laughs> Thing, yeah. right there's all kinds of stuff in there there's um it's it's like it's got vanilla and amber and freesia also no poor taylor she looks like you know she came in there trying to find her true love you know sort of and now you know sort of had some bad experiences and i don't know maybe it's sort of well, likes it now because it fuels her creatively and but uh yeah it's uh that's what i think what's happened so peach and also raspberry 
What happened to your voice just now? <laughs> okay, let's, let's talk about another irrational fear of yours. You, you're scared of getting arrested. I'm, I'm scared of... That's a reasonable fear to have. ...getting first. framed. <laughs> so. Okay, now you've gone one step beyond. Uh, uh, wh who would frame you and for what? You, oh, so many people would frame me. <laughs> and, um, and, and they could frame you for any, any crime that you could go to, to jail for. And I, you know, look at me, I wouldn't survive in jail. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> cool, so. I, don't know, I think, I don't know if Taylor, uh, sorry, uh, Ellen sort of uh, holds back. You know, some of the guests, I think, you know, a bit more, have a bit of experience in the uh, entertainment world and sort of, I'm not sure that they can uh, take one more jump scare, sort of, uh, might put someone over the edge. Careful. <laughs> Scrapboard called. I like the idea, Alan. Experiment. Tr just try some stuff out. Don't worry about it. According actually does sounds pretty good in some songs. You know, some you know dance songs or something. They do a bit of a breakdown of the um, accordion. Sounds pretty good. Just depends on the you know the song, obviously. <laughs> The last time you were here, we talked about you have a fear of, well, you have a fear of a lot of things, but you have Lots. a fear of spiders, right? Yeah. And now a new fear. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you get over this fear. Tell everybody your new fear. It's like a... Um, Blame it on the mother energy drink, people. ...that I found out about called an earwig that has pinchers. Do you know what the, those are, the earwigs? And I think that they crawl into your ears. <clears throat> and they eat your brain. Oh. All right. I'm scared now as well. I'm gonna help you get over that fear. For, have you seen one, or you just did you just hear about this? I saw a picture of it once, and I just thought that they crawl in your ears. They don't. They live outdoors. Okay, they're fi found under lawn clippings and compost, or in tree holes, and they're not. I mean, they're just earwigs. <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> so tell people. You reckon like they were told they sort of look scared beforehand? Or sort of, as if you wouldn't notice them coming behind you. Maybe they're just, you know, so engaged with talking to Ellen and sort of seeing the audience you know, that they don't realize, you know, someone's, you know, coming from behind. But. People, what you were doing before I showed you how to become a cover girl. Getting drunk with strangers at a bus station. That's right. <laughs> exactly. And now look at you. You look amazing. Thank you. I, for real, like, don't have a boyfriend. I sit by myself and I watch Law & Order. I don't... Take it from me, you don't need boys. You don't. I've been on this show. I've been on this show. Eight times now, and I still remember Ellen hiding in the bathroom. With a hidden camera, and she scared me so bad, and I fell, and I could have died. She always asked me who I'm dating every time. To be perfectly honest, I've never seen a high school musical and sort of just the silly thought went from my head is like, oh, Zac, e Zac Efron can sing, but um, I'm not sure if he's done many singing roles uh, in movies, unless the ones I've seen um, post uh, high school musical. Now, maybe you sort of, I, I don't go out of my way to not watch a uh, sort of Zac Efron film, but sort of, uh, yeah, let me know what sort of post uh, singing roles he's done since high school musical. Here because I 
because my protege, Taylor Swift, is performing. So I'm going to go find her, see where she is. Gosh, Taylor! that was a while ago. Taylor! Taylor! <laughs> the last time, I think, it was just doing that because I didn't know any better. Now you know more. I do. Let's see this. That yeah, sounds a little different. Maybe it's slightly more out of the triangle than we uh, think. Wow. That's wildly different. Thank you. Yeah, we, we should give you your own solo for that. Listen, I mean, okay. <laughs> all, right, all right. The last time you were here, I forgot, you told me your, your favorite musical, your musical crush, somebody in the business. Oh, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake is yeah. your favorite, really? Yeah. Well, I said I'd bring him next time you're here. Justin! <laughs> Oh well, there you go. It's a nice job. Who's Taylor's friend? And so she had no idea that Justin was here. This yeah. makes it all better. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The last person I kissed was blank. Like an eight-year-old kid in the audience last night. That is night. gross. <laughs> you are disgusting. <laughs> I'm scared to hook you up with anybody, even if I meet somebody great, because I hear something that you do that kind of frightens me a little bit. Let's, I'm going to give you a chance to clear it up. When you have spare time, you drive past your ex-boyfriend's houses. Why? I don't do that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I'm not like throwing eggs. It's right. I'm just checking up on them. Checking up. <laughs> it's interesting to see, like you know, over the years, obviously, you know, seven years. Uh, so Taylor has you know changed a bit, and just interesting to see you know the progression throughout the show. Uh, watching the Ellen clips. <laughs> checking up on what the front of their house looks like, well, or I mean, it's what really like see? an act of public service, you mm -hmm. know, I'm just uh -huh. seeing if they're okay. Are you? A six I don't want to go in it. <laughs> Do you guys hear the music? Don't go in there, Taylor. I don't want to go in it. I really am, I don't want to go in it. Okay, the, the music is getting better. It's get, okay, the music is less scary now. That's not so bad, no jump scares. Yep. Is there some like a uh, sort of uh, things you can go in Disneyland where there'll be like scary people that sort of like knock things on doors and then jump scare you and stuff. Is this, I, I'm a bit worried if I was had like one of those jobs to dress as a zombie and you know sort of spook people because like you sometimes get like uh, just as a natural reflex it just Pwah! It, it happens in a split second so you know sometimes it's just a reflex so careful for those guys I guess. The zombie's real Taylor. Oh, Jesus. You know it's coming, but still spooky. Oh, God. This is horrible. It's a horrible thing. Stop it, 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 stop it. There you go, good. Let's do a sound check, people, sorry. One, two, three, one, two, three. All is well. You've come this far, people. Might as well go all the way with me. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. It was funny. Ah, stop it! I hated it! Oh my god! Why did Taylor come back uh, to Ellen? But no. Deserve uh, a treat now, Taylor. Taylor, I'm going to have you demonstrate some of the things that I taught you in order to be a cover girl, okay? Okay. Okay. First of all, you have to squint. So squint. Okay. Squint more like you're looking right into the sun. The sun is blinding. You're squinting. Right, right. And now. <laughs> Pouch your lips, your, poof your lips out like that. Your lips, like you're trying to get a straw and someone's moving it away from you. Squint, squint while doing it. Squint and looking into the sun, bright sun. Squint, try to get the straw, get the straw. And squint, good. All right, and cover girls never walk. They don't walk, they trot. They trot like horses trying to avoid puddles. So squint and try to get the straw. Squint and try to get, and don't get in the puddle. Trot, trot, but not in the puddle. And you're angry, you're angry, you're so angry that you're pretty. You're pretty and you're angry about it. Squint, look in the sky. 
truck. Get out of the puddle. You're in a puddle. Look straight ahead and, and squint. And good. I have style here, and I would just have questions. So midnight, you you come and pick me up, no headlights, which I think is unsafe and not a good message to send. You have a lot of young people that like you. And midnight is very late, and I'm wondering what the intentions are on, on his part, on your part, to let a young man pick you up at midnight with no headlights. Behind the lyrics, I lock her down. Saying that. Long drive could end in burning flames or paradise, of course, because there's no headlights, and that is a possibility. But the fact that you don't know where you're going, there's ways, there's Google. Mind frame. Sorry, guys. Paranoid. Map. There's places you can go to find out where to go. Fade into view. I thought it was fake interview, so I don't have a question there now. Okay. So I got a new cat. Yeah. Um, um, her name is Detective Olivia Benson. Mm -hmm. Good guys. Looks like a, uh, a sort of cat breed, sort of. Must cost must have co cost quite a bit. Um, she was. I know there are dog pounds, but is there like a cat pound or sort of like somewhere you can get like sort of abandoned cats or cats that have been taken? Uh, you know, off the street, I'm not sure. He was named after my favorite character on Law & Order SVU, but it's very confusing for me because since I named the cat Detective Olivia Benson, uh, she's since been promoted on the show to Sergeant Olivia yeah. Benson. It's very confusing for the cat yeah. and also for me. Yeah, so do you call her Detective sometimes and Sergeant sometimes? Um, usually, well, I actually call her um, a, a name that doesn't really make any sense, but uh, we, her name is um, in the house, it's Dibbles. <laughs> Because it suits her personality more I than see. Olivia. But she's like a she's like a scrappy little cat. Uh -huh. So her name is like Olivia, but it's like her personality is more like, hey guys, it's Dibbles. <laughs> hey. It's not just about being easy, it's also about being breezy. So put put the fan on. Just Come on you're easy and you're breezy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think of like the logo when I think of Cover Girl. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Easy. <laughs> okay. Go what? Breezy, oh. easy, easy and breezy. Okay. Blow the Beautiful, phone. cover girl. With okay. the trot? The trot, squint. Try to get the straw. <laughs> Try to get the straw. You're in a puddle, get out of it. Trot out of the puddle. Good, right. The straw's getting away from you. Beautiful, oh, that's beautiful. Finish the statement. I am Taylor Blank. Is this a trick question or is it just swift? Just fill in the blank, however you, what, what, how do you feel, your immediate response? I think just like birth certificate wise, it's swift. Like I am Ellen blank, I am Ellen DeGeneres. I am Ellen DeGeneres and I am married to Portia de Rossi. I am Taylor Swift, I am dating blank. Nobody. I am Taylor Swift. Sticky big Ellen. Slide intermission for everyone. Just trying to. Get my last of my uh, few drops of my mother energy drinks. Get my money's worth. All right, now resuming our feature presentation. Swift, I would like to be dating blank. Nobody. <laughs> I'm Taylor Swift, and my publicist told very me very god, isn't she? I mean, I know, like, it's a part of a. Uh, it's a bit of a joke, but nevertheless. Blank. My publicist told me not to answer any personal questions. Okay. Better. Screw your publicist, Taylor. We want to know. Give us all the juice. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> this is um, the stage. This is the main stage, okay? Okay. Um, this is me, and this is me. So this is, you don't have to open it. This is, you're gonna make a mess. Oh, well, who are these people now? They're left out. No. They didn't get chosen. That's how life works. <laughs> so I'm at the end there, and I'm singing, at which point I will say, Los Angeles, make some noise for Ellen DeGeneres. Okay, I don't think that's good. Like, just bigger. Los Angeles, please give it up for my very special guest. My, Los please, Angeles, please, please give it up for, for my very special very, guest. Very, very, very special my guest. My very, very, very special, special guest. guest. My favorite person in the whole wide world. My favorite person, person in the whole, whole wide, wide world. world. I owe my career to her. Please give it up. I owe my career to her. Good, good. Uh, my biological mother, Ellen DeGeneres. Los Angeles, please make some noise for international pop superstar, Ellen DeGeneres. That was pretty funny, Taylor. I didn't realize she was this funny. That's good.
Yeah. Oh, that was funny, guys. No, I enjoyed that. So anyways, guys, that was Taylor and Ellen's most memorable moments, 2008 to 2015. Sort of, um, yeah, it didn't look as though sort of uh, Taylor and Ellen had any, you know, sort of you know, real sort of uh, issues. But, uh, you know, sort of uh, interesting to see, you know, how the scandal continues with uh, Ellen. But no, funny stuff, guys. Thanks. But, uh, you know, sort of uh, Taylor's so talented, it burns me up. And uh, you ever hear those stories about uh, the bad sort of mutants who do real bad things? I'm the worst one. <laughs> you just watched another episode of Bread Renegades. Make sure to check out this video. My highest viewed. It's got to be high viewed for a reason. This one. Oh, this one's also pretty funny. Also one down here. All right. See you guys later. Grace, give me a water, will you? Thank you. Good show, that one. <laughs>